a low-tech beginning for a high-tech facility. This will be Max Lab 4, the world's most advanced synchrotron light source, which, according to Deputy Director Swante Swenson, will take scientific research to previously unimagined levels. During the years from 1970, we have increased the so-called brilliance by 100 billion times, which means that an experiment that took a year when I was a young research student now takes a fraction of a millisecond. Synchrotron radiations generated by bending a stream of electrons traveling near the speed of light around a series of magnets. As the beam is bent, it emits an intensely bright light, the brightest in the world, according to MaxLab. Synchrotron radiation, it's the same thing as X-rays. And we produce enormously intense X-rays and extremely narrow beams. Uh, the beam in uh, Max 4 will be like the size of a hair. And uh, th through this size of the hair, there will be seven, uh, sorry, 10 kilowatts of X-ray power. And this X these X-rays we use for research. According to Swenson, the lab will have a storage ring 500 meters in circumference, generating enough synchrotron radiation to give scientists a new view of the world around us. It's a fantastic uh, workshop to study uh, materials in general from proteins, biological materials, to technological materials. All of these fields are there. It's to a very, very high degree interdisciplinary research and uh, I would say that about 70% of the activities are related to uh, new renewable energy and environmental research. Today, X-rays are used for a lot more than examining bones. Scientists depend on X-rays to help design new drugs and develop new materials. Work that will soon be able to happen even faster than before. Stuart McDill, Reuters.